Good morning, Box. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. Hope you're doing well. If not, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope this vlog cheers you up. Uh, I am done with some teacher meetings, you know, three hours of meetings. Yay! <laughs> um, but it's good. they're good meetings. You know, we got some work done. Goodness gracious. Um, well, I walked away from one of the meetings and it was just, it was not a good meeting. We'll just put it that way. It was it was semi-productive, not nearly as productive as I would have hoped. There was a lot of discord within the meeting between teachers about expectations and not everybody's on the same page and like, oh my goodness. So it was a bit frustrating to kind of watch. And I was a facilitator, so I was like, okay, let's, let's can we uh, can we just do, okay, hey, listen. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, I think that happens though in any, work environment you get a lot of discord occasionally and as people get out of sync and I think we did we, we post we suspended the meeting because we ran out of time for the work day and so like you know we're going to continue this tomorrow which I think is probably for the better uh, so that people have a chance to cool down <laughs> um, and we can have a more productive meeting hopefully tomorrow uh, and then we'll all be on the same page and in sync and it, it'll be good it'll be great but I'm going to go home because today is, is my day to just relax, I guess, because it's Wednesday. Let's go. Good morning, Box. I found you. I found you. Look, you're the new one. And the only way you can really tell is where it says 120. That's exciting. I've been looking for you all day. Guess where you were? You were in my purse. I just had so much stuff in there that I just felt like you weren't in there for some reason. Um, so that's good. That means you get to see kind of what I'm up to. But it's four in the afternoon. <laughs> I haven't filmed because I didn't have you. Um, Rosalind is napping. She just fell asleep, so that's really weird. Tomorrow's my gestational diabetes test, and I'm trying to figure out what to do about a babysitter because it's like right in the middle of her normal nap time. But the last like several days, she's gone down super late. So I don't know. We'll we'll talk about that more tomorrow. But now that she's asleep, I have a whole bunch of cleaning I want to do around the house because like. I've got a sink full of dishes that I was trying not to show you yesterday while Ken was cleaning the pan, um, but I need to do those. The dogs like to dump their food on the floor, so that needs to be cleaned up. And then the house is just bothering me. I'm starting to get kind of nesty, and I feel like I've been really lazy the last few days. Um, and Ken's going to be home soon, and I tend to like to clean alone. I don't know if you guys are this way. Um, Ken really likes when we clean together. He turns on music, and we all do... It's just like we all work together. And I really like to get into my own zone and just go, go, go. So I wanna try and get as much done as I can before he gets here, cause once he gets here, it, cause she'll still be asleep I think when he gets here. Um, he's probably gonna wanna hang out a little bit. We don't often have quiet time together alone. So, um, but I do wanna take care of the little things that are they're just bothering me. And then I kind of want to do my nails too, but I don't think I'm going to have time for all that. So we'll start with the dishes. Dishes, running, check. Next step, clean the counter. This is something that drives me nuts. I don't like surfaces. You wouldn't believe it based on looking at my house, but I don't like stuff on surfaces, especially the kitchen counter and the kitchen table. It really bothers me. Ken's desk almost always has stuff on it right now. It, that, almost always has stuff on it. Right now it's actually pretty good, but I just don't like anything out. I don't care if the inside of my cabinets are messy. I'm the queen of leaving cabinet doors open, but I just, bleh, it's driving me nuts. So we're going to clear this off and then move on to the next cleaning phase. And also I'm listening to YouTube while I clean. I don't know if you guys do that. Maybe you're listening to YouTube right now and listening to Sudden Kimpact while you do your dishes or whatever it is you're doing. If so, good for you. Um, I was talking in the one take about how I'm trying to comment on every video that I watch this year, um, but I realized that that's really tricky to do when I multitask, which is usually when I do watch YouTube because I just kind of like to have it playing in the background. And right now, you guys probably know I'm really, really into my makeup channel. Like, it just comes in phases and I'm sure in a few months, well, I hope not, but I might just be over it, and I do that, and I allow myself to do that because that is the one that I do for fun. It's not for anything else except for me because I love makeup. I love doing my makeup. 
I love playing with it, um, and I just enjoy that. So right now, I'm listening to a lot of Pan That Palette uh, videos, which is like trying to finish an entire eyeshadow palette, um, which I'm doing, if you're watching that channel. Well, I'm trying to hit pan on every shade in an eyeshadow palette this year. So um, I've been like listening to a whole bunch of other people's to see how they did it. Because um, it's so motivating, and I'm like, oh, I just want to play with my makeup, but I can only do my makeup one time a day. Which is part of the reason why I wake up so early and go to Starbucks, because it allows me silence in the morning to get ready, because Rosalind's not awake. So part of the reason why I like to get up so early is so I can have time to myself where it's just like me and my mirror, which sounds really vain, but you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who have a hobby, you know what I'm talking about. So, um... I'm going to stop talking, turn my YouTube back on, and clean my counter. This pretty much sums up where I'm at. This is why I'm here. We need a water filter. Um, our fridge's filter is busted, and um, the tap water, I'm, I'm officially sick of it now. So, we're going to get some filters here. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay, let's take a look around. So much better. Um... And I got laundry started as well. So, uh, Rosalind's still asleep, so I'm gonna do my nails, actually. And I've been doing my nails, every time I take it off, I put the same thing back on, because I've been in love with it. Um, this Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish in Valet Tag, which is, it was limited edition, but if you have uh, wet cement, it's very, very similar. And this Milani nail polish, what are you, Pink Flare, which is old. Uh, discontinued but it makes this really pretty color on my nails and so they're starting to chip just a little bit so I'm gonna take them off and then I'm gonna put it right back on because I just love the way it looks so pretty what exactly are we doing here Roslyn she keeps putting washcloths on my hand Roslyn can we talk about your really adorable skirt for a minute that my friends would be um, elements periodic table of elements on her skirt. And for those of you, there have been a couple of you that have suggested, hey, the periodic table might be really good for a name reveal. And it totally would. In fact, we thought of it at first. So I'm now going to give you a hint as to the name and say, um, the periodic table of elements does not have every letter in it. And whatever baby girl's name is, we cannot spell it with the periodic table of elements. Otherwise, that would have been really cool. But this skirt is the coolest thing ever. You look really tired. She just woke up. You missed some crying. Yeah, you were a little cranky to be awake, huh? Ken was playing. Ken, what song was that? Uh, my Immortal Evanescence. Evanescence, My Immortal. And it helped Rosalind deal with her, her tears. And, um,. We were pretty amused by that, I'm not going to lie. But now she has covered my hand in washcloths. A moment ago she was cooking them, so I don't really know what we're doing. You feeling a little better? You're going to hold my hand. I held your hand through all of these years, Rosalind. You missed it, guys. Um, I thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. Little Cub was just crying. She was so upset. Oh, and she's on the, the futon. She's just like, ah! And, yeah, that's what you look like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um... She can handle you making fun of her now, but yeah. at the time, no, at the she time couldn't she... handle any humor at all. No, she was not very happy. But I was like, you know what, little cub, you know what you need? Let me show you what you need. And I put on Evanescence, My Immortal. Yeah. And she immediately was just like, yeah, I can dig this. This this hits me right where I feel. This is how I feel right now. She wanted to listen to it, like, three times. Yeah. She wanted me to sing every time. It was so cute. And I was like... Heidi, we have a teenager, an emo, emo teenager in a three-year-old's body. That's what we have right no, now. No, because a 13-year-old would not be like, okay, I'm good. Now I'm going to cover mom's hand in washcloths. <laughs> Hello. Mama? This is Dada. Hi. Are you there? Hi, Dada. I Hi, am your Dada. Hi, Mama. I don't think you can see it, but she's totally moving. She's jumping around. Mama. Yeah, but it's all overexposed because your skin tone next to my sorry. skin tone makes the whole thing look really pale. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I shared a video on Instagram yesterday of the baby girl moving, so if you want to see that, you can check that out um, on my Instagram. Hey, Box. Uh, so uh, we are uh, at Target. We went to Radio Shack. They do not have the adapter I need. We're looking for an adapter, by the way, so I can connect my headset to my Xbox controller so I can talk to this guy. Oh, hi, hi, Box. Again. Hi. He's giving me a lift here and there. Um, and uh, yeah, Radio Shack didn't have the thing, so I like, you should try Audio Express. So I tried Audio Express and I called them, and they're like, we have no idea what you're talking about. So I explained it, and they're like, you should try Radio Shack. And I was like, whoa, okay, time out. They sent me to you. And the guy was like, I don't know, try online. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't help me right now. So we tried Target, no luck. So I guess we're just gonna call it. And I'm on hold with Best Buy, forget them. <laughs>